If any of you tuned into Network Roundtable, uh, you already know I'm currently on the road to the middle of nowhere. I'm in Scipio, Utah right now. There's nothing here. I'm <laughs> heading over to Richfield, Utah um, to broadcast Advent Horizon as a bandwidth hangout on air late tonight. They are opening in about uh, an hour and a half for Warrant, and then they've got an after party, and we're going to broadcast the after party. Anyway, as a result of that, I'm running HOAs from the road inside my car, and wow. uh, we are going to go ahead and start this HOA. I will probably drop out because I doubt there is good enough Wi-Fi connection through the mountains between Scipio and Richfield. So, this week, we have a really interesting uh, guest, Ali Mayo, one of uh, my new clients, and already, in my opinion, a very good friend, um, is a totally different type of personal trainer than uh, your, your top Jimmy-approved trainer, James Williams. And so, we're going to let these two guys talk about the differences and similarities um, between those two different styles, and uh, I'm probably going to disappear in about two minutes. So I'm going to undo the box myself. These guys will end up controlling the call by who's talking, so that's what you're going to be seeing. So if one of you makes a whole lot of noise and the other one's speaking, guys, uh, the video is going to be on the wrong spot, and I'm not the one controlling that. Anyway, enjoy this week's Fast Food for Thought. James, it's your show. Take it away. Hello, Top Jimmy CPT here. I'm glad to have our guest, Ali. I'm excited to talk to him. I've looked at some of his pictures online, and he, by the looks of his body and whatnot, he really knows what he's doing. <laughs> so, Ali, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself before we really get into the show here? Okay, uh, my name is Ali Mayo. Everybody typically calls me Ali. That name, the reason why I'm mentioning it is I, uh, the way I got into training, which led me to, uh, I mean, the way I got into weightlifting, which led me to training was uh, when I was a kid, I was picked on uh, pretty strongly. Uh, the name made it a little bit rougher, as a matter of fact. Uh, when I was a kid, I liked uh, superhero comic books. And uh, in the superhero comic books, the the, the you, know, you had uh, little skinny guys, and they got their superpowers, and from their superpowers, they got out of being picked on. So I came discovered weights, and weights seemed like the closest thing to getting superpowers, and it kind of worked the same way with me. I pretended to be the smallest of the smallest, you know, just I had heart, but I was a physical weakling. Uh, my parents, to tell you how it was. Uh, when I said something about lifting weights, my father suggested that I just read, and I believed that my mother cried. <laughs> but the uh, the weights for me it was it was like a superpower. It allowed me to gain they allowed me to gain confidence. They stopped me from getting picked on, and then that eventually led me into showing other little small people like myself how to get bigger, and that's how I got into personal training. Excellent. That sounds great. Um, just the kind of way we run the show here, now that you've introduced yourself, we usually start out with a nutrition topic, and then we'll switch over to you and let you uh, do your thing for a few minutes, and then we'll talk about a reason to exercise and a non-scale victory and some things like that. So okay. I'm just going to lead off here with, with uh, the of the day, it's a protein, and, and we kind of touched on it in the started in the past, just because I constantly preach that protein and fiber should be eaten with every meal and and really every snack as well. So we're going to take that a step further and talk about uh, ways to get protein and kind of how they contribute to your muscle mass or your energy and Ali, I'm, again, I'm excited to have you here. Feel free to chime in on any of these protein topics as you see okay. seem fit, okay? 
So I've kind of made my own top 10 lists of protein. And to be more specific, it's not necessarily the top 10 list of protein itself, but the top 10 way, foods to eat to uh, gain muscle mass and, and burn fat. And I'm not a vegetarian or a vegan, so number one for me is, is lean beef. And lean beef means at least 80% uh, fat-free, preferably up to 90% if you can find it. And uh, number two, well, of course, let's lean beef real quick is 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 basically muscle, right? You're eating muscle to to help build muscle. So high in protein, make sure you're low in fat, and that and and that protein goes straight to your muscle. Number two is skinless turkey and chicken. I prefer turkey over chicken. Uh, seems to have a little bit higher protein content and less calorie content.